All right, now we got the thing right where we want. Perfect little size. And that little stomach may hold a monster. What I'm hoping to get from the stomach of the shark would be squid bakes. Squid bakes are probably the most accurate way of hiding a squid that has been obviously half or fully digested. All right, girls, be ready. Got the PVC tubes and everything. Yep, just tune into the saltwater pumps turned on. Yeah. That goes around me and animal. Just want to make sure that those girls realize that. <laughs> Get the lavage in them. Get the lavage in them. <laughs> Not quite like I was hoping, anyway. Here we go. We're irrigating them now. Yeah, you got good flow on his gills now. It's coming out of him. What's that there? Is that stuff that's come out of his mouth? Uh, we haven't seen anything come out yet. Go for the lavage, and I'll go for the hook. You guys handle the lavage. Got it. Got it. OK, now do you okay. got the one? I'd, I'd be inclined to let that one go right now. Hey, guys. Why don't you try another one? As it should have come out by now if you'd done it, if it, it had worked. All right, Brett, let him rip. Let him go. That's one angry, angry shark, and I can understand why. It's well and truly alive, that's for sure. Nice job, ladies. Way to hang out in the midst of the chaos. Keeping it cool. Looks a little worse than it is. But you know, there's not gonna be any sort of little four foot or five foot shark's gonna come in and just lay there and let you do your thing. I think he just was, didn't have much to spit up because what we did get out was what he had just eaten that we chummed. On our trail, on our chum slick here. You're kidding, yeah. that's it. He just Whoa. ate his way up the slick and that's what we got back. The first time we tried with, with the mako, um, there was a lot of blood around and I think that was because of the way that it was caught with a barb. And although like, that's how they do it all the time, it's not actually causing that much damage. To, to us who are not used to dealing with a lot of blood with fish, um, it was a little bit stressful. I, I don't like doing it at all. I, I really don't like doing it. If there had been no blood, I would have been very comfortable. But it, There's always going to be blood on the hook. From the hook, as long as it's from the hook. I think just deep down, he's just a big softie as well, and he doesn't like to see animals in pain.